Hello, everybody! traveling far away from home, but I usually, in fact, almost always find a new friend along the way. That's how I met Mr. Narrator. Thanks, Ollie. Last time, Elizabeth and Jehu were attacked by jackals, but Ollie bravely fought them off. He was gravely injured, but an angel appeared and healed his wounds. It was then that he decided he must find his three lost brothers, now in the hands of a Roman merchant named Gallius. Which brings us to our next story, called Shipwreck. We'd better get going if we're going to find them. They've already been gone a month. They could be anywhere in the world by now. Ali and Jehu started out on their search for Isa, Esau, and Jeremy. They didn't know where to look, and they didn't know how long they would be gone. But none of that mattered. They just knew they had to find Ollie's brothers no matter what. They searched for days but found no sign of them. One day, they approached a clearing near the woods. Little did they know they would soon meet someone who would change the course of their lives. could talk? Oh, we do when we want to. Most people think we have far too much to say. I guess they like us better when we keep our opinions to ourselves. Where are you from? I'm from Caesarea. Where are you from? We're from Bethany. We're on our way to Caesarea to look for my brothers. Your brothers? Are they all white like you? No. My brothers are just regular donkeys. I'm the only white one in the bunch. Hmm. What would it be worth to you to find your brothers? <laughs> Why? Do you know something? Oh, there is not much that remains unseen from my vantage point flying around as I do. The higher I go, the more I see. Unfortunately, you may all be too late. What do you mean, too late? You've seen them? What's happened to them? Can you take us to them? Hey, now hold on, fella. We first have to discuss my reward. Do you expect me to tell you where your brothers are without some kind of a reward? Reward? That's robbery. I don't trust this bird. What is your reward? If it is nearly too late, then perhaps hmm? we should just try... Have you any sesame seeds? Uh... Just a little. Oh, bring it here! Hold on! How do we know you're really gonna help us? I guess you'll just have to trust hmm. me. How many do you want? The whole bag! The whole bag?! You're suddenly being greedy! Nonetheless, that's my price. How badly do you want to see your brothers? Hey, bird. The information? You got what you wanted. Now, tell me where my brothers are. They were bought by Council Gallius. And they're headed to his wine press in Italy. Italy? 
They're at a stall <gasps> near the port, not too far from King Agrippa's palace. They're gonna be shipped out today or tomorrow. <laughs> Can't you take us to them? Oh, you land creatures are much too slow. I'll tell them you're coming. That'll make them very happy. Thanks for the sesame seeds. It sounds like we best hurry. It's a long way to Caesarea. As they walked, Ollie worried that they might not get to Caesarea in time to save his brothers. Get you. Come on. Oh, not so hard. Take it easy. Oh, I think I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> Just hold on. Everything will be okay. Boy, little fella, you should sure put on some weight. Did you already eat all those sesame seeds? Oh, yeah. No wonder you're sick. Go ahead. Hop on my back. I'll give you a ride to Caesarea. Careful, Rupert! Uh, uh. Come on, little fella. Let me give you a hand. Next time, you should eat a little less. Meanwhile, in Caesarea... If you don't want to be my friends, then don't be my friends. I'll just have to take you to my vineyard in chains. We'll see how agreeable you'll all be then. Fetch me my leg irons for these stubborn donkeys. Let's see how they like traveling in chains. <laughs> I tried to be nice, but that didn't work. So you'll just have to suffer with chains around your hooves. I fed you with carrots and leeks every day, but now all you have to eat is all water and hay. Chains, chains, chains. Things were better before. Chains, chains, chains. Why do you make me so sore? Chains, chains, chains. I try to be nice. Chains, chains, chains. Now you better think twice. That night, Ali, Jehu, and Rupert arrive in Caesarea. Rupert scouts out the ships, trying to find Ollie's brothers. Oh, I saw them. They're sleeping, but they have chains on their legs. Chains? This Gallius must be a very harsh master. We gotta try to get them back before the boat sails in the morning. Do you have a plan? Hmm. No, but maybe if we put our heads together, we can think of one. It's no use. 
Why didn't you wake me up earlier? Well, I waited all night for the coast to clear, and it never did. It looks like we might have to row our way back in. Captain Maximilian, what a rogue has stolen my donkeys! Uh, I know not what you speak. Stolen donkeys? Are they not still in the baggage hold? Look at these. What do you call this? When I catch up with these animals, they'll be sorry. Oh! Captain, it would be best if you put it into the harbor. Otherwise, I fear you will lose your boat. And how many sea voyages have you been on? This is my first one, but I had a vision. You come to warn me of a vision? What are you, a soothsayer? He is the Hebrew prophet Paul, formerly Saul of Tarsus. Perhaps you should listen to him. Nonsense! Now, both of you, get below. Lower the jib. Bring the mainsail down to half-mast. Just 
pretend it's barley or exotic fruit. It's seaweed, but it's just as good. It's seaweed, but it's just as good. in my beak or a little inside a slow on the feet but before you long keys till we get to shore you better eat the seaweed now or there will be nothing more <laughs> guess he was thirsty here, strap yourselves in, everybody, or we'll be eating our next meal in Neptune's kitchen. Neptune's kitchen? Where's that? He means on the bottom of the ocean. Oh no, I'm much too young to die. Oh no, I'm far too wet to fly. It could be a lot worse, Rupert. You could be a giant octopus waiting to eat us. The ocean carries them off while the storm blows over. Meanwhile, below the waves. Now it's very important that no one wanders off. If we stay together, we can watch out for one another. I thought you were going to tell us about the dolphin exploits. You please tell us, tell us. We want to know. Very well. All the dolphin students follow their teacher, except Apollo. He can't help but explore the wreckage of a ship nearby.
Hey, over here! Help us! Hey! Can you help us? We're stuck out here! Wow! There's so many of you! You're a funny-looking human. You talk like a human, but you sure don't look like one. He's not, but I am. Ollie's a donkey, a talking donkey. Well, I can see that you are a human boy. But how can I possibly save all of you? I'm so small myself. Well, maybe we can all paddle. Oh, I can navigate. My feathers are almost completely dry. I can fly up ahead and see if I can spot an island. I'm really too small to be calling such a big boat. It doesn't matter if you're big or small. You just got to have faith and you can do it.
runs in the water with an attacking octopus. This can't be good. I can't look. Welcome to Farmer John's Corner. Take it away, Farmer John. My mother always said, to make a friend, you've got to be a friend. Now, I'd like to think that most people in the world are nice, and if I treat them as a friend, they're going to treat me the same way. Tell you what, let's show you how it's done. Uh, Mr. Budinsky, come over here, please. Hey, Farmer John, what's up? Hi there, I'm Farmer John. I know, we met last month when I moved in. No, 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 pretend that you don't know me. Why would I do that? So we can show the kids how to make a friend. Oh, okay, I got it. Uh, do it again, do it again, do it again. Hi, I'm Farmer John. How do I know that's true? What? Uh, 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 you can just be pretending uh, uh, to be my friend so you can steal all my stuff. Well, I, uh, 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 uh. Wait a minute. That's my stuff. <gasps> Point taken. By the way, can I borrow an 800 foot extension cord and a rubber mallet? Oh, well, sure, I guess, uh, what? In our next episode, Jehu must battle a ferocious octopus single-handedly to rescue Esau from a watery grave. That's next time on The Adventures of Donkey Ollie. See you again next time. Bye now! <laughs>